that we have KTH students located in Sri Lanka. And our purpose of the visit was to visit the students, to check on their progress, to also talk to facilitators, those persons who are helping them at the host universities, and also to meet ministers and government officials. <laughs> Our master's program, Sustainable Energy Engineering, has been given in distance-based mode since 2004. And we have various partner universities, about 12 now, scattered throughout the world, mostly in Africa and uh, now in Sri Lanka. So we have students located in Sri Lanka studying at a distance. A few do come to KTH, but most of them will stay in place, study the entire two-year master program at one of three host universities we have in Sri Lanka. So for now, we've been working with the partner university mode. But again, in the future, we hope to be able to decouple that and that we could have individual students involved in the programs. But still, we'll have a need to have someone to step in as an exam proctor to ensure that the exams are being conducted in, in a proper way. But you don't only meet the students, you also meet the people on a government level when you're here in, in Colombo. Yes, that's right. Uh, and it's uh, largely thanks to the ambassador back in Stockholm. He has set up a few government meetings. For example, we have met the Minister of Youth Affairs, the Minister of Energy and Power, and perhaps some other ministers while we're here. So, so this is considered important also by the government here in, in Sri Lanka? Yes, that's correct, because they see this as a capacity building initiative. In other words, government uh, employees, some of them are students of ours, in fact, they have the opportunity to top up their education with a master's degree, and then they will be much more effective when it comes to their everyday work. By doing this, I would like to uh, uh, enhance my uh, knowledge about the energy field and then uh, to make use of them to teach uh, undergraduates in a better, better way okay. or more uh, uh, new tech with new technologies, new areas, which I found actually most interesting in this uh, Sea Worldwide program. I think I can do a lot of service in Sri Lanka because this is renewable energy expansion is the, our future. I try to see what I can do out of this learning to uh, reduce uh, energy consumption in the world and to make the world a better place and uh, environmentally much more friendly. For students in developing countries, uh, the financial aspect has been really the main limiting factor. Our education has been tuition free up until the year 2010, but nonetheless, the cost of living back in Stockholm is very high. So uh, that has prevented a number of students uh, joining our program, or presumptive students, I should say. Others are working full time. And uh, for those that can get a reduced uh, workload, this program might be uh, a good one for them. Again, those who are really interested in energy technology and want to top up their knowledge. Um, and so far, we've been really working with the full-time students, but in the future, we will also see if we can have part-time students involved in our activities. But the real strength is our students themselves. They are students throughout the years. I've known students, hundreds of them, since 2002 when I became pro program director. And um, they are extremely ambitious, uh, dedicated, really look into the future and highly interested in transforming today's energy system, which is fossil fuel based, to a renewable one. Students, uh, they're starting their own companies. They're working in developing countries to help improve the situation there. Um, and just meeting them uh, on a daily basis is a real inspiration for me. If you want to know more about this program, what to do? Right, well, you can go into the web, www.energy.kth.se. There you have the opportunity to learn a little bit more about our distance-based program, also the other master's programs that we offer on campus.